Good morning, everybody. How everybody going? The sun is up. So you see what's happening here? Ella is feeling real cold. So it's around 7 30. And uh, while the birds coming in one by one, maybe you could see them behind me at some point in time. They were just here, you know. Hey, hey. They like. Oh, he hen. <laughs> I hear them flying all over. <laughs> yeah. Um. So, it's a very nice morning. It's not as cool as yesterday. Yesterday was real cool. I mean, <sighs> if a snow was to fall in Trinidad, I don't know what will happen to plenty of us. You know, but um, I enjoyed it. Uh, some extent you know um, um so today february the first of the year 2023 and i just felt compelled to share some things with you all whether you're a grown-up whether you're a child man woman wherever you are in life physically spiritually emotionally mentally i want to encourage you all to cling to god you know things are happening in this world and things are happening fast and things are happening in such a crazy fashion you're hearing all sorts of things going on in the world today and plenty of them are scary if you go to take on every single thing that's happening out there it could affect it could affect you psychologically right and i know that the reality of life is that it's not perfect for everyone there are broken homes there are broken relationships. There are broken marriages. There are people who, in relationships, want to get out because they can't deal with certain things that are going on. They don't have the tolerance or the patience, right? Somebody might have done something to you. And what we like to say in China, you're toting. You're holding on to it and you're toting and you're toting a heavy burden, right? And this is not the way that God intended for us to live, right? I am a Christian. I am a child of God. I believe in Christ. And uh, I know that everybody believes in um, a supreme being. And what a supreme being represents is good things good things love happiness peace health all the good things some of those things we need to work towards it they don't just come just so right and i felt like i needed to share with you all that whatever is going on in your life right now you know it's not too big for the lord you Will think that it's too big for you and in many cases it will be but it is never too big for the lord never ever too big for the lord he sends his beauty his love his teachings on a daily basis technology is so advanced and widespread that i show everybody let's get a little quote every morning from somebody right and the question is do some of you are really read from the beginning to the end and do you try to practice what is said on that quote right let's talk about family issues somebody in your family do you something and you can't let go and you can't forgive you're not doing them something you know you're doing damage to yourself and you're doing bad damage to yourself forgiveness wasn't designed to give the person who wronged you 
a get out of jail card free a get out of jail free card right forgiveness was designed to set you free from carrying a heavy burden right and there are so many relationships that are breaking up parent and child relationship brother and sister relationship sister and sister relationship right um husband and wife relationship friendships you know whatever type of relationship there's always going to be a problem because we're not perfect nobody is perfect right but for many of you i urge you to take the godly approach it is a lot of work but there are so many great rewards to your hard work to the hard work that you're putting in right there's nothing that somebody could do that is so bad that should allow you to completely lose total control over yourself yes it will bring you to a stage of great frustration it will bring you to a stage of great anger and resentment but those things were not meant for us to carry many of you say oh gosh alice you and your family oh you're so cool and oh you're so loving and there's love and togetherness that didn't come just so we went through some real trials here and we're healing every video that you see that i put out is a video of healing is a piece of therapy for us and we will continue to heal because it's not an overnight process right um when you trust in the lord he will give you the patience and the understanding to forge ahead and overcome these challenges everything that we do we have to try to we have to try to make make it right in the eyes of the lord now nobody is perfect right there are some relationships which have been broken because of seemingly petty issues you all need to get over that you all need to mend those things life on this it is very very short and there's something called regret that when regret steps in the human body doesn't know how to deal with remorse and regret at its fullest capacity and that's where you'll find people starting to turn to things like coping mechanisms drugs or their mind might be triggered to go to a place where they lose all control and i just want to encourage all of you with all the love in my heart don't let it reach to that place right now in my life and when i was going through all these problems with mr sana and them a lot of people walked out a lot of people turned their backs a lot of people were not there for me at the time i couldn't understand what was happening but i really pray i pray like i never prayed before i've never stopped in fact i continue praying with such fervency and regularity that i surprised myself but it's good to pray it's good to put all your trust in the lord and ask him to give you the strength the knowledge the wisdom to change the things that we can change and to basically apply the serenity prayer you know understand there are some things you can't change there are some things you can change and there's also the wisdom to know the difference and the serenity prayer has been my mantra for the past few days i have met so many wonderful people um through this channel amazing people amazing with amazing stories some of them have such heartbreaking stories but they always give an encouraging word in the end you know and um this is what we need we need to uplift each other and i wouldn't feel right in my heart if i didn't encourage you to do the right thing it's so simple it's so simple all yeah just do the right thing you know and you know what the right thing is because everybody has a conscience right 
I'd like to think so. I'd like to believe that. And fix what you could fix. We have more power than we know to fix relationships. And oftentimes it just starts with one small gesture. Also, on the other side of the coin, if somebody is reaching out to you and making a gesture towards making things right, please don't shut them down. Please don't reject them. Please consider that they are making an effort, that they're taking a leap of faith and that it's hard for them to reach out to you also. So, you know, meet them halfway. That being said, please love each other. Fix the things that you could fix. If there are things that you can't fix, go to the Lord. Well, you should go to the Lord first, right? Nothing is bigger than the Lord's capability to handle it. And just go out there, love each other, forgive each other. You know, when this thing was going through, Mr. Sa um, when I was going through this thing with Mr. Sana, I don't feel I didn't get blamed. I get blamed for all kinds of things. I mean, and I had to deal with that. And I had to stay quiet. And for a long time, I couldn't, couldn't understand. I didn't know how to absorb all of that and how to work around it. But as time went by, continuing to pray and continuing to always take one step in the right direction, I overcame. And I mean, I still have some littles to cross. I still have some strongholds to break out of. It's an ongoing process. So be patient with yourself. Be patient with each other. Be kind to each other. Love each other encourage each other uplift each other get rid of the the envy the malice the this the that the bad things life is fleeting right that being said i want to thank everybody who lifted my mom and my family up in prayer ever since you all found out that she was ill i have been getting such a great outpouring of love and support from everybody prayers going up to my mom um on her behalf and for my family and i just want to say thank you every single thing that every single one of you did has made a difference and has helped me to stand up here today to tell you that my mother closed her eyes and flew away at 8 45 pm on the night of the 31st of january 2023 she's no longer in pain she has gone to a better place. I believe so with all my heart. And before she flew away, I did everything that I could have done as a daughter. And I relate to her all of your prayers and encouragement. And she was really happy. She was really happy to know that there were so many people who she never met that send their love to her. So again, from the bottom of my heart, thank you, thank you, thank you. And please, please let us live with love and understanding and patience and all the good things that the Lord is trying to teach us. All right? You'll hear from us soon when time could allow. But as, as, um, as you know, it's going to be a difficult time ahead. And I know that you will continue to lift us up. So thank you. And I love all you.